Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is finally going to do his One Piece spoiler video. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this video, and here it is, the One Piece spoiler video. So, before I hop in, look down below, and the spoilers are right there. The link is down below. Click on it. I know you want to, because people were like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the spoilers? Where's the spoilers? So, the spoilers are down below. Um, by the way... My battery for my computer sucks. So th does anyone know where I can like buy new batteries for computers? Uh, like actually like for like a good sale? Cause uh, this battery is kind of like dead now. Like it can only it can only last for like about a good uh, hour maybe, and then it dies. Some kind of like fuck. So let me know. Um, that being said, actually I'm gonna hold it. I like oh yeah I'm gonna hold it. Yeah I'm gonna hold it right. So that being said, uh, for this uh discussion. It pertains to the spoilers that were on the One Piece Wikia. Now, again, some of you guys have may already have seen these spoilers, already looked them up, read them for yourselves. But for those of you guys who haven't, it's all down below. And what I must say is that some of the information of this spoiler, especially pertaining to the weapon, especially pertaining to the weapons of mass destruction, some of these spoilers may seem a little bit off and may seem a little bit uh, discredited. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go step by step. Uh, one by one and give you guys my thoughts on each of the major focal points of this uh, spoiler and I come the way it's gonna be it's kind of gonna be like a read-along yeah like I'm gonna talk about it and then watch well, I'm, I'm gonna read it because I have most of the spoiler on my word uh, the a few of the paragraphs I kind of copied completely so I'll read them to you but uh, that being said you know let me just hop right in off the cuff Bear with me as I talk about One Piece and the possibility of what it could be, the spoiler, and so on and so forth. Now, oh man, this video. Whew. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start off like this. All right. Once there was a kingdom on the moon that had advanced science and technology that could make robots and dials. Now, if you've ever read the One Piece manga, you will know. And by the way, all this is in the spoiler. All right, in the spoiler. Now, if you guys have ever read the One Piece manga, <clears throat> there is a NL side story. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, in this NL side story, NL goes up to the moon with his ship, Maxim, and he winds up going to the moon. And he meets space pirates. Alongside, he meets these ancient, these ancient robots. Now, it's a weird little story of how there's these two little robots who had a master on Earth, and then their master sees like an explosion on the moon. He dies of a heart attack, and then the robots go to the moon in order, in order to take in order to in order to take in order to take revenge on the guy who caused the explosion. Well, NL winds up going to the moon, and a few of the structures you see are very unique. Like there's actually structures on the moon, like actual structure, like uh, stone and like uh, and then like buildings and so on and so forth, and. You can see that the carvings inside of these structures are people with wings. And this points out, and this points to the prospect that the Skypeans used to live on the moon. The Skypeans used to live on the moon and then came down to the planet at some point. And then what we see here is NL uses his electricity powers in order to charge up like the structure. And all of a sudden, these robots start, and all of a sudden, these robots start coming out. So, in fact, this ancient civilization used to live on the moon, came down to Earth, and became the country, the most powerful or the most technologically advanced country during the time of the blank century, before and during the blank century. Now, what it says here is that the ship, the ship that they used in order to go down to the blue planet. Uh, they call it Earth. Well, correction, no. I mean, in the spoiler, it's called Earth. But in my opinion, the One Piece world is much bigger than Earth. So I'm going to call it the blue planet. But according to the, according to the spoiler, the ship that these ancient people used in order to go down to the blue planet was the same schematic as... The ship that Tom 
had. Remember do you remember Tom San, uh Frankie's teacher? He had this blueprint. Well apparently the blueprint was the same blueprint as the ship that could take people uh to the moon or from or back and forth to the moon. So it's that same ship, apparently, which is Pluton. But if you remember, Pluton, there's two types of Pluton. There is the Pluton that Frankie and Tom have the blueprints of where, where, where they could actually build it. And then there's the ancient Pluton, which the ancients themselves used in order to go down to the blue planet. So remember that, all right? There are two Plutons. There is Uranus, there is Poseidon, and then, and then there's two types of Plutons. So it, so technically speaking, there are four ancient weapons, technically. Um, now, that being said, the next thing here is this. When the people from the moon, or they call them the 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 uh, the uh, the the Byrica or the Byraka. Um, I mean, I'm not too sure if that name's actually correct or not. But apparently, this person had a Korean friend, and you know, you know, like whatever, all, all this junk. But basically, says the people from the moon came down to Earth, and they accepted everyone, and they accepted everyone to join and use their technology in peace, and soon developed into a huge kingdom. However, a secret organization wanted to take the power and authority of the people of the moon for themselves and started a war. And thus, the people of the moon developed two weapons to win the war. These two weapons being Poseidon and Pluton. Now, the way they describe Poseidon, Pluton apparently was a weapon, and according to the spoiler, Pluton was a weapon that could go underneath the water and change the tides of the sea. However, after the war, because Pluton, and this is key, because Pluton went underwater, underneath the actual surface of the water and changed the tide, this caused volcanic instability. And all these volcanoes start to erupt at a singular point in time. These volcanoes became the red line. The red line is caused, the, the creation of the red line was due to the instability of volcanoes caused by Pluton, according to the spoiler. And Poseidon, which in my opinion is completely wrong, Poseidon, apparently, according to the spoiler, was this cannon used that used uh, fairy bass, which apparently is a mineral sand that, that's on the moon. And this fairy bass could create um, these powerful cannonballs. And when these cannonballs sunk in the water, they solidified and hardened, and that structure became Kairoseki, or sea stone. Now, the reason why I think that's wrong is because we already know that Poseidon is, in fact, a mermaid with the ability to speak to sea kings. However, this could be somewhat correct if you consider the fact that there are two Plutons. You can build a cannon that has the same ability. Or the original Pluton, which has the ability to travel up to the moon and back down from the moon. So, if you consider the possibility of two Plutons, and then the Poseidon is in fact, or the Poseidon is in fact the mermaid who can speak to sea kings, then, then the possibility of having this uh, weapon that could go underwater and change the tides at the same time, go up to the moon, and have this cannon, then it makes sense. Then it makes a lot of sense. So, I mean... Again, right now, I'm just speaking from my mind. I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm, I am giving, uh, I am giving my own thoughts. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm stuttering. I don't even care. I don't even give a shit. All right, I don't care. All right. So that's number three right there. Now the next key point, or the next thing that, or the next thing that 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 is mentioned in the spoiler, which in my opinion makes a lot of sense. All right, the survivors of the people, and by the way, the people of the ancient civilization, they lost the war. They lost the war with this secret organization. And even though they had the Poseidon and they had the Pluton, they lost the war. And what it says here is the survivors of the people from the moon hid away in secret, hid away, hid away from the secret organization and take the shape of the half moon D in order to use as their middle names. So apparently, according to the spoiler, the people who lived on the moon. They lost the war. They, they came down to planet Earth. They lost the war against the secret organization. And they hid. 
And in order to verify if they were in fact members of the ancient race, the D is used as a middle name. Thus, Monkey D, Luffy, Monkey D, Dragon, uh, you know, uh, Marshall D, Teach, Portugal's D, Ace, and so on and so forth. So that D signifies a descendant of the ancient civilization that lived in the moon. In actuality, Luffy and these people are, I guess, they're related to Skypeans, I guess, all right? Um, which to me makes a lot of sense. That to me makes a lot of sense. I always figured that the D represented the initial of the people who lived in the uh, blank century. I always figured that these people were descendants of the ancient civilization. That's what I always thought. Now, the next thing that, that they talk about here is right here, right? The secret organization that betrayed and destroyed the people of the moon named, named themselves the world government and started a project to hide their wrongdoings. First, they erased the 100 years of history of the war. So that's the first thing they did. These people got together and erased that whole entire history, thus known as the blank century. The second thing they did, the second thing they did was send 20 soldiers to the moon to erase any trace evidence of the people from the moon. These 20 soldiers that returned to the blue planet were later called world nobles and their offspring treated like kings. That to me is crazy. That's crazy. These 20 people went up to the moon. They destroyed evidence. They came back. They were called the world nobles. And they're de and this is why, and right here, right here, it says, it says right here. This also explains why world nobles always wear spacesuits, which I always wondered. I always wondered that. I'm like, why do these world nobles look like spacemen? They look like they're wearing space suits with the air bubble and the gloves and, the, and like the gloves covering like their entire body. And like the suit, it looks like a space suit. And these people who went up there to destroy evidence of the civilization that existed uh, during the blank century, they're world nobles. They're the descendants of world nobles. And I'm pretty sure that they used either one of the, I'm pretty sure that they used Pluton or, yeah, one of the two Plutons in order to go up to the moon. So, that makes a lot of sense. If you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. It, it explains why these world nobles, these world nobles are dressed the way they are and why they have so much power in the government, all right? That to me, I think is crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Now, the last paragraph of this spoiler is as such. The survivors, and remember, you can read all this on the spoiler, look down below, look down below, all right? The survivors of the people of the moon make a small island call Raftel, okay, Raftel, so that the secret, and by the way, Raftel is spelled wrong in the, uh, it's spelled wrong in the spoiler, they, they, they call it, uh, Raputel, which I'm like, no, I mean, it's, it's obviously Raftel, but whatever, it doesn't matter, all right, so, once again, the survivors of the people of the moon make a small island called Raftel, so that the secret organization cannot find them, one piece is in this island, and Goldie Roger was the only person to find the island. The reason that Luffy, Ace, Roger, and Blackbeard are not on the island, even when they're, even when they are all D's, meaning that you know, like the like the last name D, is because the people of the moon wanted the world to know the evil deeds done by the world government. They made the poneglyphs, which are bits and pieces of the history of the well, of the history of the 100 years that were lost, and place and place them all around the world, and send out a select number of their own people with these to find it and let the world know the truth. The Bakira, the people of the moon, make one final secret weapon, which is Uranus. One final secret weapon while they are on the island of Raftel. This weapon has the ability, and this to me tripped me out. This weapon has the ability to take 
all four separate seas that were divided by Pluton and turn them back into one huge ocean, aka the all blue, Sanji's dream. Sanji's dream is the planet in of itself, man. It's the fucking planet, is the all blue. Because its ability is because its ability is to turn the four seas into one. This weapon is called One Piece, which is the weapon that in fact Shiki was talking to about Goldie Roger during the One Piece episode 0. And that's a spoiler. That's the entire spoiler right there. Okay? So in my opinion that's crazy. In my opinion the last section was crazy, okay? It's crazy. The fact that, and I always figured that there was a weapon of mass destruction hidden in the last island raft out. I always figured that. Because that to me makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. So, that's the spoiler. You can read it down below. Once again, down below, click, click on the link. Now, what I will say is that the ancient weapons of mass destruction and so on and so on, these weapons, because that there are two plot because that they are two plutons, this could justify. This could justify the cannon using the fairy bass, and this could also justify the uh, ability to go back and forth to the moon and to dig, you know, tunnels underneath the surface of the ocean. So it is a wild card. These spoilers are wild cards. And the ancient weapons in on themselves, in my opinion, that's kind of iffy. It really is iffy. However, what I will say is that when it comes to the D, that makes a lot of sense. That is something I 100% agree with, all right? This D, this D signifies the descendants of the ancient civilization that existed uh, during the blank century, before and after. These people of the world government, they fought against the ancients, they beat the ancients, they erased the history, while the ancients themselves hid into hiding in the island called Raftel, and their descendants spread across the world, and they became D, Monkey D. Luffy, uh, you know, Marshall D. Teach, and I mean, that to me makes a lot of sense. And Pluton, I mean, uh, and Uranus, the ancient weapon, the final ancient weapon, is hidden on the island Raftel, while... And, and again, while Pluton, the original Pluton, is hidden somewhere in Alabasta, while the Pluton that was built on Water 7, the Pluton that Frankie and Tom had, those blueprints, that was also another ancient ship. And Poseidon could be justified by the simple fact that there are two Plutons. So, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right, the world noble, the world nobles being those individuals who went up to the moon and erased the history of the moon people and then came back treated as kings, as royalty, thus known as the world nobles. That to me makes a lot of sense. So, think about it. Think about it. Let's assume that Luffy goes to Raftel, finds the ancient weapon Uranus, and then activates it at some point, and then the seas return to one unified ocean, one unified land. This would cause panic, chaos, mayhem. This would destroy everything the world government has built, considering the fact that the Holy Land in of itself exists on the red line. So, if the red line sinks, the Holy Land sinks. This will cause a major uproar and panic but to, I mean, and, and let's assume that the ancient weapon Uranus cannot be activated on the raft on Raftel, but it has to be activated maybe at a certain location in the world. The Marines and all their forces and the world government would, would, would be there to stop Monkey D. Luffy and his crew. They'll be there to stop it. So it's crazy. I mean, honest to God, it's crazy. It's a little bit far fetched. I mean, it's out there. It, it truly is out there. But maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible. Maybe maybe One Piece is in fact this. Who knows, all right? But that being said, this is my video. One Piece could be Uranus, which will unite the seas into one, which is the all blue, which is Sanji's dream, 
which is kind of weird because Sanji's dream won't occur until after when One Piece is found. The All Blue won't exist because I always wondered, like, where in the world do all the seas diverge into one? What kind of ocean exists where all the seas are one? The ocean is the planet itself, man. Yeah, that's crazy. So, these spoilers, again, I'm not saying that they're 100% correct, but the possibility that some, of these things, that some of these things may occur, for me personally, is a big, you know, that it's very probable. Especially considering the fact that the NL side story exists. Again, if you read the Eddie's Lobby or Water 7 arcs, there is an NL side story, meaning that each of the front chapters, each of the front cover pages is a story of NL, how he reaches the moon, and so on and so forth. So, if you want to go check it out, check it out. Go and find the actual chapters. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go and show you because it's, it's quite a bit of chapters. But uh, ultimately speaking, I think it's really cool. Um, you know, not 100% guaranteed that's what it's going to be. Not, not 100%. But still, it's really cool. So I'll see you guys later. King of Lightning, give me your thoughts. Read the spoiler down below if you really want to know. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace. Have a nice day.